hi guys and welcome to yet another meaning setting adobe illustrator tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to talk some more about strokes and their properties okay i've created these some shapes or some lines in here inside this small shape that i've created rectangular or square shape and as you can see from the fill icon the red line in it they don't have any fill it's only stroke okay so I'm going to increase their size to say 20 and we are going to talk about their options now. Now in the previous uh, tutorial we talked about their alignment, how you can align them to the center of the stroke line or to their edge to the inside or to the outside. We are going to talk about the gaps. Okay, the first option here is you apply it and it's this squarish type of you know ending which is sharp edge. Uh, and uh, it you know change the shape like this as you can see here the second one gives it roundness and the third one gives it also a square shape but the difference between the first uh, last one the projecting cap and the first one the butt cap is that the first one ends at the vector point from the vector line but the last one projects out of it you know it's increased in size as you can see but I'm gonna go for the round caps in here the second one or the second option here is for the corners if we select this shape of ours and now i'm given this the pinkish or red color and then we come down to here now we have selected the round ends of it because it's round we can also change this to be more squarish and sharp edges like this you know ending like this we can also give it a bevel like this we will just cut the round edges like this and you can do it uh, you know uh, with a razor tool or something like that but it gives you this sort of shape that it abruptly cuts it a rounding of looks better and you can also increase the length of the rounding if you come here and put your mouse cursor on this small round icon here and this rounding icon beneath your cursor starts to appear and then you drag it inside you can increase and increase their shape like this I'm going to control to that for now. The other option being beneath this cape corner and a line option is the dash line. If you don't want your line to appear like a line, okay, let me decrease its size first of all to 10. You want it to be pointed out in dashed. You can check on this dashed line option, check mark it, and now let's make this soft flat. And now it's only one dashed because I've given it some properties. If I remove these properties from here, like so, then you can see that we have shape like this. But if we do want to maintain some sort of shape in it, we have to give it some options. Okay, maybe 20. Yep, like this. Now there is this option in here the first one it just starts from one hand and then goes to other end. it does not mind that they are symmetrical and every corner ends in the same shape as you can see if i zoom in a little closer with holding control and spacebar this corner has this set of a shape this ends with this one and this one ends with this one they are all different sort of shapes and maybe you don't want them sometime okay to make them all symmetrical or look like the same you click on this option around it which says align dishes now it align dishes to the corners like this and they are evenly spaced and evenly sized like this of course you can increase their gaps their dish size you know the number of dishes how many dishes do you want in every line those things can be controlled their size color of course you already know how to control that the other thing is that let me decrease this size again to make 10 you can change their ends you know these round ends are fine they're looking good but if you want to give them arrow ends you can give it from here for example like this actually i've selected this line and i've given it higher one which actually looks really good okay but i want to give it to this one okay okay so let's select it and then give it a arrow head like this of course its size is too big so i'm just going to decrease its size to say 20 uh, 10 
uh, another sum was disappeared but we can make that uh, work back okay so let's increase it a little bit maybe 20 would do yes like that uh, we also need a uh, arrows uh, tail okay maybe this tail would do okay its tail is also very big now let's decrease its size to 20 like so and if you click on this icon then if you increase and decrease the arrow head and tail size they both uniformly increase and decrease and these two options means that the arrow head must end or the you know the vector point or the line or like this or it can extend through it like this okay the uniform line also option means that you can change the you know length or the shape of the uh width or thickness of your stroke line you want it anyone or do you want it to be uniform for now let's leave it at uniform of course you can always swap your arrowheads like this with this option you know from left to right in any shape that you want so these are the options uh, the other options besides the align option that you can use with your strokes you know you can give them this sort of uh, shapes and make your you know illustration or vector work even more beautiful with these and introduce a lot of flair into it if you are just simply bored with using simple lines or strokes so with that said uh, i take my leave from you guys and hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next tutorial